You ready? Okay, come on. Okay, so today we're gonna go over how to introduce your puppy to walking on a leash. Nobu has done it a little bit, but hasn't had really any real walks where like I'm training him on the walk. So I'm just gonna kind of give you guys just the basics on how to start this information. Here we go. Nobu, ready? So first things first, this is something we definitely need to change because typically when I bring out the leash, he runs away because he's literally the laziest puppy ever and such a homebody that he just wants to stay at home. <gasps> ready? <gasps> Are you ready? I'm ready. So this is what not to do. The reason is, one, it could be feeding into the game. You'd be surprised at how many dogs have this same exact issue, running away when the harness comes out, even if they do love walks. It's the weirdest thing. Some dogs, it's due to like a control thing. They don't like the thought of being controlled, but then once it's on, they're totally fine. Some just don't like this going over their head. It's just weird. So the first thing I'm going to do is not corner him. I guess the biggest thing with me is I don't want Nobu to think it's a game. And I also, just because of his genetic predisposition being an Akita, I don't want any situation where he feels uncomfortable, you know, lack of control when he wants control to turn into aggression. So any kind of instance where like his ears are like pinning back like that, actually could turn into aggression and I just don't want that. So I'm gonna get him to come to me and shift his mind off of thinking that this is going to go on him. So you actually don't wanna move forward with something that a dog is afraid of or needs to be desensitized of until their mind is shifted off of it. No, no, come. Yes, good. Good boy. Okay, so now I'm gonna lift up the harness and see if I see any sign of resentment towards it or fear. Yes, maybe a tiny bit. Wait. Okay, so I'm gonna use the wait command to shift his mind away from this actually going over him. Because dogs get desensitized of something that they're afraid of when their mind is shifted off of it, not if their mind is like on it worrying about it. So since he did well with that, he didn't flinch or back up, I'm going to do the wait command and put this a little bit more over him this time. Wait. Good baby. And now it's on. So next time, because I know that Nobu has this issue when the harness comes out, I'm going to start calling him to come to me over by the door instead of putting him back in this fearful mood before we even go out. Like everywhere he goes, he loves. That's something to always think about. Like, does your dog not like going out places because it's always to the vet or a negative um, association? But. You are so spoiled and you go so many places, so it's so fun. So super important to have your dog's mind with you before even going out the door. Now Nobu is going to be probably opposite of the average four and a half month old puppy, meaning he's so freaking lazy, doesn't want to go out that I need to keep him with me mentally to go out, whereas most puppies are just trying to get out the door. So. Don't move forward until your dog is present with you. Maybe do a sit, a down at the door. When their mind is ahead and out the door, you wanna keep it with you because if the mind is already out the door right now, um, the second we get out the door, they're physically going to be way ahead of you. Wait. Up, oh, gotta reset. So I always, always, always recommend teaching a weight out the door. Um, I don't really need to so much for Nobu because he's not trying to bolt out the door you know, on walks, but I think it's just good for keeping their mind with you the whole entire time, setting the walk up for success. Um, and also if the door's open and he's not on leash to keep him from bolting out that door to respect the doorway. What did I say? It's being stubborn today. I'm gonna make sure I get his focus before saying the release word. Okay. He's like, do I have to? <laughs> sit. The sit out the door is very, very important. Most people forget this step. Um, and it's so important because you don't want them to think on release word means, okay, free for all, I'm going to go. It means you can come out the door but you still need, need to stay focused on me. And you can see how stubborn he's being with this. He doesn't want the treat. 
So this is just going to take patience and direction and letting him know his only option is to sit and listen to me if he wants to go forward. No boo! No boo! I'm holding the leash kind of tight. I'm not pulling up or anything, but I'm holding it so that he can't just go around and sniff. No boo. No boo. Yes. And see, I only said that command once. He knew what he needed to do. It just took him forever. And if I'm very consistent at doing that, um, the amount of time that it will take him to listen to me will be shorter and shorter, and he'll try to test me less and less. All right, you ready? Ready? Let's go. So I definitely recommend trying to stay consistent. Yes, Noby! on which side you walk him on and bringing treats in the very beginning of leash training. Because you need to shift the excitement off of everything he's distracted by and get focus. I mean, focus is the solution to everything, but especially when on the leash, if he's looking up at you, no boo, no boo, yes! He's at your side, loose leash, and he's healing. So I never start with a full on heal command in the beginning with a puppy. Puppies don't usually have the attention span to do that until like four and a half, five months old, I would say. Um, but I definitely think it's important instantly when you take your puppy out to start getting your dog's focus while walking. So we're gonna go over a lax leash walk. So I am, yes, baby. He's checking in on his own, he's good, good boy. So I am gonna hold the leash pretty short just to start showing him this is the distance that I want you to, to stay next to me. He really doesn't need more than a foot and a half. Start walking. No boo. Hi. No boo. No boo. So I just said his name three times. So that's what you wanna do is say your puppy's name three times. Now the three times can be spread out. Um, it can be spread out over your entire walk if you don't have all the time in the world, but the more consistently you're trying to get your dog's focus, the better his focus is going to be on the walk. So after three times of saying his name, three chances to check in with me, what I'm looking for with his name is him to look up at me and he gets the best of both worlds. He gets a treat and we keep moving forward. But if he doesn't check in on those three names, he has to sit. <gasps> yes, good. Still rewarding him at this level for the sit because any focus is good. Yes, because he's just a baby. He's four and a half months old, almost four and a half. No boo. No boo. No boo. Oh no. You looked at when I was stopping. Sit. You still got to do it because you didn't check in. No boo. No bee. No boo. So here obviously when I'm trying to get him to sit I can say his name as many times as I want. Yeah. Just not sit multiple times. Good boy. Go. No boo. <gasps> yes. It was like a half look, but still, I'm getting excited about it. <gasps> that means we don't have to stop, and then we reset with the three names. No boo. Damn it. No boo. <gasps> yes. Oh, such a good boy. It's seriously very hard for him to look up right now. He's like doing the bare minimum. But I'll reward him and then I can be more strict with it. You don't want it? Why not? Is that too big? I think Nobu is a perfect example of even if you're not having issues with your dog right now, like for instance, he's really walking great. He's not pulling. He's just in his own world. But I just know that even though right now there's no issues with that, the older he gets and the more protective he gets, protective instincts, 
the more in his own world he's going to be and the harder it's going to be to snap him out of it. Like if it's this hard to snap him out of this right now, when his protective instinct kicks in, when he sees another dog or a person and feels like he needs to protect, there's no way that I'm going to be able to get his focus. Not only that, but I want a dog that listens to me and, you know, isn't stubborn. So I think it's super important for all dog owners to understand that even if your dog is chill and isn't like a super overexcited dog, this is very, very important to still get them to be mentally with you. Um, yeah, he's like physically with me, yes! But mentally you can see he's just in his own world. He doesn't even necessarily care about the treats right now. Um, he like is just taking them, but it's more just about he wants to keep going at this point. So he's listening to me and it just shows you just have to be very, very patient. 